Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scow Help on Facebook. I want to show you the <clears throat> 12 by 24 scanning ability that comes on the CM650W. And currently, as of September 30th, 2015, this is the only model that can scan the 24 inch mat. right here gotta move you guys in so you can see what I'm doing right here is where you are going <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> to select what mode you're in if you just come right through that it is going to scan in the grayscale <clears throat> you have to come here and select the RGB red green blue and I have a full 24 uh, inch sheet on here well actually it's two 12 by 12 scrapbook paper on there so we'll see how it comes out now this does take a while um, for it to be recognized, let me pull this out a little bit. You can see the designs. Okay. So let's bring you back in here. So you can see what is going on in here. Okay. It says frame the image. Well, what it wants me to do is pick out the images or image that I want. So let's come up here and let's say I want this whole line right here. I'm going to click OK and it's going to recognize it. So we'll see how it does with that little line. But because I just scanned 24 inch mat. I want it to be bigger than 12 inches or it would be rather useless, right? Or I could have slapped that down on a 12 inch mat. Okay. So let's choose this one. Well, it doesn't look like it did very well, does it? This one right here looks pretty good and so does that one. It didn't capture the lines in there or all of the words in there so let's come here let's take our color up it can go all the way up to 20 colors so let's try this and the preview and allow it to work a little bit and this does take a while <clears throat> check that out let's see can I get you any closer no can you see that I picked up everything. That's pretty good. Let's try to increase the colors a little bit more. Take it all the way up to 20 and see what happens. So it's picked up quite a bit. It still did not pick up the line that goes around this one. And I'll show you where it is down here. Okay, that line, that dark green line that goes around there, it did not pick that up fully. Okay, so it is a ton better, but still not 100%. But I remember using this with the uh, grayscale. I refused to use it. I just used my camera, and I did a tutorial on how to do that because I, the one time, struggled for over two hours to try to get it to scan something. All right, so let's just... <clears throat> come back to the home screen here let's do a scan and I think it should still be that yep it's still that let's scan it in and we're gonna go for a bigger chunk Okay, 
frame the image. Let's just go to right there. Okay, now let it work. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Let's come in and increase <clears throat> our colors. And let that work for a bit. Because the bigger the image that you're scanning, of course, it's going to take it <clears throat> some time to recognize everything. Woohoo! We have great success. That really picks up a lot of um, <clears throat> the image. Let's move that up there and see. Oh, yeah. So that is about... 95% improved over the uh, grayscale scanning that um, the ones had. Um, like I said before, I gave up on it. I didn't use it. I used my camera. But that is absolutely awesome. Um, so there you go. That's kind of a little uh, peek into what the uh, RGB scanning capabilities are with the 24-inch uh, mat. Um, if for any of you that may have been holding off to see what that has to offer, um, it's actually re really cool, really neat, um, and you are able to pick up a lot. I want to, um, try taking this down, though, um, before I let you go, uh, to see if it'll actually pick up the white lettering in some of these, like this one here. Maybe I can get this one to pick it up. It is, um, let's see if I can pull this out here. That's the one. The little fox is right there. That's not showing up. But see that top uh, left, uh, yeah, left corner? It picks it up there because that orange is a little bit, um, I guess maybe a different color. But that being a dark brown, you think it would have picked it up right away. So I'm going to go in and try to capture that right now. And I will be right back. Okay, another thing about, <laughs> about this absolutely awesome little machine. I just had the 12 by 24 mat in there. I took the top sheet because I wanted to scan um, these little doohickey majabbers down here. And I slapped this one on a 12 by 12 sheet stuck it in there did not have to change the size of the mat so um, this new machine reads the size of the mats probably according to the little registration marks that are on them but it's so nice because you do not have to change that yourself okay so let's of course let me grab one of the things that I always walk off with and never put back we grab one of the little pointy things. Okay, so let's bring this in here and see if this will help. Because a lot of times it does. It's just like when you're working in Scout. You know what? I wanted this one down here. Let's try this one because that one didn't capture either. This is cuter. <clears throat> Let me make sure this one's stuck to the mat real good. Okay, so this little this little 650 is actually pretty amazing. Good job, brother. You did a very nice job on this. Okay, so let's come in here. Only five colors are selected. You can't push and hold this, which I wish they would have allowed us to do because I'm lazy. I, is not lazy. I like simplicity. The simpler you can make things, the better it is for people. Oh, look at that. That went up pretty good, but it's still... Hang on. It still did not capture everything. Okay. So I have this a darling little camper that I would love to own. And it still did not capture it. Okay. So. There's some things. That we can 
try tweaking in here. Okay, let's see. Nope. So, I guess, let's try taking this down. Sometimes, when you don't have so many colors, it's better. You know, you would think with the more color recognition that it would, you know, really clarify it. But sometimes that's not the case. Nope. So, you don't get it 100%, but... Hey, it is 100% better. And really, what do you have to cut those words out for anyhow? But what I'm looking for is detail. People that need a lot of detail. Like, that cut out their stamped images and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to actually right now go get a stamped image. And we're going to try that. Okay, so I have stamped a whole bunch of little hearts. <clears throat> I even stamped, oh goodness, a chartreuse one right in here. So we're going to see how good... This little scanner is, I have no idea. I haven't tried this one yet. So I did a brown, a pink, a black, and then I stamped all the way through the black until it was about dead. So you can see all of them, okay? So let's get this guy rolling here. Let me get the camera set up. I feel sorry for you guys. I am so sorry when it gets like that. Okay. Ready? Start. <clears throat> so the RGB, the red, green, blue recognition. Um, I, I had quite a few people send me private messages and tell me that they didn't know what that was. That is the scanner's ability to recognize the actual colors. Okay. That looks good. It's kind of got a little bit of that shady ugly look to it and so what I think I'm gonna do because there is light coming in there I need to see if I can block off some of that light but it's kind of like when you take pictures and your camera <coughs> has the ability to either take it in black and white or in color. So the scanner can e e either scan it in black and white or it scans it in color. And the color being, of course, you know, the reds, the greens, the blues. That didn't help a darn bit. Well, we'll just go okay and let it recognize. And the RGB technology has greatly improved over the grayscale in this model, definitely, from what I've seen so far. So if that was the one thing that was holding up your purchase, I can tell you from what I've seen um, with those two uh, scrapbook pages I've done, world's improvement. But it's not my money. So, I won't tell you either way, but yes, it is an improvement. Oh, let's see here. Look it. <laughs> it picked up the yellow one, and I mean a light yellow. This one right here is about the end of the black stamp. This was the new black, second stamp, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, so let's increase that because what I want it to do is recognize that fading black as a light, light, light gray. But so look, I mean, it took and it recognized, hang on, that light chartreuse greeny yellow which it would have never done before in the uh, grayscale model. And it recognized it immediately. Huge improvement. You'll get some people say, oh, I did it before. Well, that's good because I was never able to get it to do it before. Okay, no, so. Um, you see the two that 
have kind of missing pieces. That is this one and that one and you can see why. You see how light it is and how light that piece is? That is why. So you want it darker than that light gray. Okay? So that is why it did not pick it up. It's because it is too light. But it picked up all the rest. The pink, the yellow. I mean, look at that yellow. You cannot tell me that that grayscale would have picked it up. And you know what? We're going to try. Okay, last thing we're going to do is we're going to try it in grayscale and see if that yellow one comes up. It shouldn't because it would never come up for me before. But maybe they have better sensors in this puppy. I don't know. Let's see. I really hope these videos help you guys. That's the only reason I do them. Okay, come on. Look at what's missing. The yellow one. So, it's right. It would not have picked it up before. So, this new one is better for picking it up. So, if you want, if you have bought the Scan and Cut, or you are looking to buy the Scan and Cut for scanning and cutting out of items, and you don't know whether to get the 550 or the 650, I guess I would say, based on performance of the scanning, the 650 or the 350 with the RGB is the better model because it does pick up the colors. All right, but if you notice something, look at the hearts that have the gray parts. Those are better. So, you can, with the 350 and the 650, you can do it twice, okay? You can use the RGB for your colored things and for your uh, black and gray white items, use the grayscale because look at it, it did a bang up job picking those up. All right, guys, thanks a lot. If you have any questions, find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks.